about vSAN infrastructure. How do you go about doing that? vSAN is licensed on a per processor basis just like you would license vSphere. Any physical processor within a host that is going to contribute to the vSAN data store would have to be licensed out appropriately. For example, if you had three physical hosts with a total of six physical processors, you would need six licenses of vSAN if they're going to be contributing and or accessing the vSAN data store. Best practices when we look at vSAN is that you'd want to start out with a minimum of four hosts to take advantage of advanced features like erasure coding, which will drastically reduce the amount of raw storage capacity you'd need to get the appropriate amount of usable capacity that your organization needs. vSAN has three different suites that are available uh, based upon the needs of your organization and the feature sets that you guys want to take advantage of. First would be standard, um, which is your baseline, uh, baseline licensing. When you look at standard, you're not going to get some of the more advanced features like erasure coding, um, stretch cluster capabilities, or even uh, IOP QoS. Uh, what you will get is the ability to have, whether you choose a hybrid or all flash array, you'd be able to build both with standard. However, all data will have to be mirrored, which will drastically reduce the amount of usable usable capacity you'd have um, in your environment. Taking that beyond, there is both the advanced and enterprise packages. Advanced is where we find most, most clients fall into. Um, if you're not looking for the stretch cluster capabilities or the IOP QoS capabilities, advanced would be the right packaging for you. Outside of the traditional CPU-based licensing with vSAN, there is also another flavor or consumption model um, to access vSAN and, and enable it within your organization, and that would be in regards to VDI. Um, whenever licensing out a VDI infrastructure, specifically with Horizon, um, vSAN is included in advanced or enterprise editions of Horizon. So if you are going to be building an isolated infrastructure to support your VDI environment, vSAN will come inherently with that and can drastically reduce the storage costs that you need to support um, a performance-hungry VDI solution.